Today we are talking about which factoring method to use when you're faced with a problem. The first question you should ask is, are A, B, and C all divisible by the same term? For example, in a situation like this, they are not, whereas a situation like this, they are. And under this circumstances, we undergo common factoring. And here we can pull out a 2 from our expression. The next question we ask is, is the trinomial factored? In a situation like this, our trinomial is factored and we're done. Whereas a situation like this, we are not fully factored and we must continue. The next question we ask is, is our expression in the form of a squared x squared minus c squared? For example, a situation like this it is, and we can use difference of squares factoring, whereas a situation like this it is not, and again we must continue. The final question we have to ask is, is the coefficient of the x squared term 1? If it is, we can undergo simple trinomial factoring. If it is not, we can undergo complex trinomial factoring.